What is up everybody, Top Gear Bandit here. So a few weeks ago I asked you all what modification you'd like to see done to my truck next and the majority of you all did pick a grill so that's what I ended up ordering. So I ended up going online and finding Bay Area Metal Fabrications and choosing their Economy Raptor Style Grill. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Raptor Style Grills with the Toyota lettering across the front. I think it really has a nice look to it and it gets rid of the kind of plasticky chrome that comes on these tacos stock. So uh, I have the parts laid out here behind me. We'll take a look at those and we'll get started here on this project. So as I said, this is the economy style grill. It's basically just a flat plane uh, punched out and milled to say Toyota and then have kind of the grill look on the top and bottom. The normal style grill that they have looks relatively the same. However, it is three dimensional. So where these slats are or grates or whatever you want to call it in the grill are set back and the Toyota is kind of risen out of it. Um, but this grill, being the economy grill, is about half of the price and I couldn't justify spending twice as much. So unboxing everything here, you do get the grill, uh, the color insert, so this will go behind the lettering. I did pick quicksand so it will match my truck. Uh, a bag of hardware and a couple of their uh, stickers here to represent the brand. So a quick look at the back of the grill here. As you can see, there are some mounting holes and then sort of some brackets here on either side for the uh, color bar. One thing I'm not finding, however, are any sort of instructions, so it may take me a little bit of time to play around with the hardware and see what fits where. So opening up some of the packaging here, uh, the bag of hardware that came with the grill, so this is what originally fell out of the bag of hardware, and then this smaller bag was inside. So there are four screws in here, four holes in the grill insert, so I'm assuming that these will go directly into these brackets and the rest of this hardware here will go between the grill and the truck. So upon further inspection I think it's going to actually be easier to take this entire color surround part of the grill off and then be able to replace this part of the actual where the grill insert is uh, after that. So it looks like what we're going to have is one of these, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's it's kind of a little connector uh, it's used on a lot of different automotive applications, but to remove that, you're just going to kind of slide a screwdriver under here, pop up on it, and then you'll be able to pull it straight up out of the hole. So as you can see, um, it's kind of a two-piece design. The middle makes the, uh, it's kind of like a nail, and then that widens the uh, little connector here. So what you want to do is you want to pry up on the rim of the, uh, the center part, uh, and that will allow the, the exterior of it to be able to get squeezed in and come up out of the hole. Then moving along over the sides, you do have a couple of screws here uh, that you'll have to remove as well. So we'll take those off and we'll see what else is holding this grill insert in. So to remove the other two screws that are holding this uh, grill surround on, uh, they're either a 10 millimeter or a Phillips head screw. So we're gonna use the 10 millimeter and uh, remove those two and put them away for safekeeping. Well, I think we're going to put something back there. So it did end up just being those four points that were holding on the, the grill insert. So you have your two connection pieces here on either side of your headlights, and then you also have the two screws here on top. And once you get those removed, you can just kind of wiggle the whole apparatus up and out of the way, and it'll be it, it'll come off without too much issue. So with all this removed, you can see a couple different things about these new Tacomas. First off, you can see your uh, your impact zone. So between your radiator and your bumper, uh, that's a specifically designed crumple zone either for pedestrians or for light impacts uh, with other vehicles. Also, you can see your twin horn setup, which is standard on these trucks as well as uh, the upgraded transmission cooler which will come with your trailering and tow package. So as you can see here we have the factory grill insert already removed and basically all that holds that in is a bunch of these little uh, silver clip basically. I'm not sure if you can see it but it has a little piece sticking out over here on the side and I just reached in there with a pair of pliers, uh, pinched that and then it popped straight through and you just have to work your way all the way around this grill insert. Uh, it's not really hard but it is time consuming, it does take two hands and uh, there wasn't really a good way for me to film it for y'all. But moving up here, uh, we do have 
the new Bay Area Metal Fabrications insert already in the uh, the housing here. And I have a few bolts just to hold it in place while I'm talking here to you. So as you can see, we do have the entire insert in now and bolted up. I think it has a really nice look to it. Uh, one thing to keep in mind when you're bolting it up though, is when you're drawing it tight, you know, try to alternate a little bit. You don't want to have too many gaps or anything. Uh, because like if you draw it all up on one side and work your way to the other, I don't feel like the right side and the left side would match up. So I tried to alternate the best I could. But as you can see, kind of, I hope you can see this, it has a pretty uniform line along the bottom. You know, no real waves to it or anything like that. Also, you can see the quicksand color bar in here, and I think it looks really, really good against quicksand paint. Nice. There's that. Slot that. Just want to get that. Right there. And then, of course, the very last screw, your screwdriver dies. So I guess we're going to finish it the old fashioned way here. So we got everything buttoned up with the taco here and I'm really really impressed with the quality and just the overall look at this grill. Uh, with, despite it not having directions it wasn't really that hard and hopefully this video helped you out. If you do have any questions feel free and let me know. Uh, I know it might be a little bit fuzzy in some of the areas but I'd be happy to help you out. Uh, overall, for $270, I think this is an absolutely fantastic grill. Uh, the overall look of it, it is metal versus the plastic that comes on these trucks standard. And, uh, you know, I, I think it should offer good protection, but it also has a really nice look to it. So, thank you all very much for watching. Have a fantastic week, and we'll catch you next time.